Hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of our Planet Coaster playthrough on Theme Park UK during this closed season. Uh, now, uh, last episode, if you did not uh, see it, we made a western area and we started on that. And we made a little uh, hybrid coaster, which is the first coaster that we built in the park. And it obviously is the main staple of that area. Now, uh, firstly... Uh, before we get into this video, I would just like to apologize for the uh, horrible video quality um, My recording software did mess up a bit during this recording which uh, means that the resolution is absolutely awful and Yeah, unfortunately that just is how it is, but I did want to show all you guys what I actually did so um yeah, um, hopefully it's still bearable to watch. Um, it's not too, too bad, but obviously it is quite fuzzy. So, uh, yeah, just just ignore that. But uh, anyway, yeah, you join us back here in the western-themed area, which uh, I go ahead and improve some of the decorations inside of it uh, as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go through some user comments, actually, because um, I actually got quite a few viewer suggestions last time, which I'm really thankful for. Um as well um so let's just go into the comments uh because I, I probably should have been a bit more prepared uh but one of those suggestions i'm pretty sure i just did was rename there we go renaming the uh the area to um onslaught outpost which was uh recommended by uh dom uh this is me here this uh sorry <laughs> this, this is me here uh just renaming the uh the sign um, and looking up the who suggested it and whatever. But yeah, obviously, thank you, Don, for that suggestion. Uh, obviously, if I didn't use your suggestion, please don't be disappointed. Uh, but I did take all suggestions into consideration before the recording of this video, which was uh, probably like the 29th of November or something. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, um,. So, Explosive Gamer said it's a very short and strange RMC layout, uh, which I did mention I can't want it to be like, it's like an RMC, but I'm not trying to make my parks realistic, like, I don't really try to make, like, proper realistic parks, generally just because, like, it's just, I don't, like, remember layouts and stuff, so I just generally, like, see what works, and if it works and it has good stats, then, like, that's good enough for me. So, I don't really try to, to make everything too realistic, um, but the, from now on, I will try and make it a bit more realistic than before, if that makes sense. Uh, just try and make it a bit more uh, lifelike, obviously, for that kind of layout. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really meant to be an RMC, it was meant to be just more of like a hybrid, um, but obviously RMC are the main people who make hybrids, so uh, that's kind of why I said it. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, we are adding a flat ride into the western area and theming it up a little bit. Um, this uh, flat ride name was suggested by Avalanche Attractions UK. Um, so thank you for that. They also suggested a whole big, uh, whole big storyline uh, for the whole area. Uh, however. Uh, I didn't really think I would be able to theme it well enough uh, for me to do that, so that's why I went ahead and uh, didn't do that. But I did take the flat ride name, uh, which is good. Uh, so this flat ride is a bit like Maelstrom at uh, Drayton Manor, uh, similar ride type. Uh, I'm not sure what they're actually called in uh, as like rides, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like a swinging, swinging pendulum ride, isn't it really? Uh, but yeah that fits in well and um, obviously it's kind of you would see it as you went to the park as well so it's kind of an incentive to go into the area uh, but I did kind of take inspiration from the uh, from the uh, train tramway kind of idea that um, Avalanche Attractions suggested uh, by just putting in some train theming and uh, just some, some general western theming now what I've decided to do for this park is actually um, is actually theme it to uh, the default content packs that come with the game because I don't have any of the uh, or any of the DLC. This means that uh, pretty much um, that I've only got the default content. And obviously, if there's loads of theming items that are, are together uh, that are in the same kind of theme, 
then I'm obviously going to use those. So, uh, for example, Sci-Fi, Pirate, which we'll get into more later in the episode, and obviously Western that we started on as well. So, uh, yeah, we're just steaming it up here and uh, doing a bit of rock work. And, um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty nicely uh, themed area, I, I think. Uh, just a bit of on rise here. And uh, what I do end up and go and do, I took inspiration from the Platform 15 maze at Fort Park, which, if you didn't know, um, as one of kind of like the scares uh, out of a train. Uh, this is spoilers, by the way. Uh, so skip like 10 seconds if you don't want to hear. But uh, out of a train, there is a fire effect uh, that comes out as one of the scares. And um, yeah, I kind of took inspiration for that. Um, Obviously, you can see me kind of messing up a few times here because I can't actually select it because it's in the train. And what I do is I just activate it on the trigger uh, from when a ride goes uh, by its point. So it does it every every few uh, every few turns. But uh, yeah, it doesn't do it all the time. Uh, as you can see, uh, I did wait a while for it to uh, to do its thing, but it didn't really work too well. So. Uh, it, it does it does do it eventually but yeah here's some just some off ride shots of the uh of the flat ride uh but yeah anyway um i haven't been making videos the past week because i had my uh my teeth out uh, some guys on the discord may know uh but yeah i had two two uh, of my teeth out uh which uh, obviously i could make videos if i wanted but um it's kind of one of those things where you just want to lie down in bed and not really bothered so yeah it was just uh kind of thing i'm still uh it's not the the greatest now it's still a bit uncomfortable but um, you know, um, I, I wanted to get a video out this weekend, uh, there might be one out soon, um, I'm planning to do a summary of Infusion, uh, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and, um, a summary of Galactica at Alton Towers, uh, next week, uh, or the week after, so, one will be out, uh, one week and one will be out the week after, uh, probably, uh, although, don't quote me, things could change, that could not happen, but, uh, yeah. So, um, at this point, uh, I will kind of finish with the western area. Uh, I'll probably come back to it at uh, some point in the uh, later episodes. Uh, but what I try and do is add a new area to the park. Uh, now, this area is, uh, as I kind of said earlier, is going to be pirate themed. And, yeah, obviously you've got uh, some good pirate content in the Planet Coaster. And um, so what I decide to do is uh, actually make a spinning wild mouse. Because I think, I thought we needed kind of like a family coaster. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to make a spinning wild mouse. Uh, try and theme it into the area a bit. Uh, but obviously, uh, not too much. Uh, again, this probably isn't the most realistic wild mouse layout. Uh, it's a bit short as well. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm not an expert on, I mean, wild mouse layouts are easy. But I can't wait to make it a bit different and uh, switch it up a bit. So, um, yeah, as you can see, as normal, I'm smoothing out the rides a bit. And, um, yeah, we're just, uh, as it's a spinning wild mouse, of course, uh, you're able to, the, the car spins separately to the, to the track, which, um, adds to, adds to the ride experience a bit. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of more of a standard layout with uh, a few like tight turns and and drops but uh yeah this is the kind of bit that I'm, I'm thinking isn't really too realistic is the is this bit here which just kind of comes down and does that but you know it's whatever i'm sure it'll be fine but as you can see i realized that the chain lift actually didn't give it enough momentum to get down there so i just sped the chain up to 14 miles per hour gives it enough momentum uh coming off the chain and obviously speeds up uh, that as well. Um, but yeah, obviously we will change the colour scheme so it fits into the area. We do add three new rides in this uh, in this area today. Uh, I don't finish it, uh, spoilers, but uh, we will come back to that next episode. Uh, probably do a whole area uh, episode on theming it up because uh, I haven't really themed any of the rides. I've just made the rides and we're going to theme them next time. So that'll be good. Um, yeah, but this will be the first two lands done really uh for our park um any other suggestions though uh will be uh welcomed um 
also something I didn't uh, didn't uh, go back to was I do believe I did take um, who was it? I do believe I took TPM's uh, 1K hybrid name and put it on the hybrid. Although don't quote me on that, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, um, that wild mouse is done. Uh, I do add another block section so we can have two uh, cars on our truck at once. Uh, which is all good, of course. Um, but yeah, we just changed it up so it's a bit more pirate themed. Um, I come here and look at the, the, the car. Obviously, the mouse isn't really uh, themed at all. Uh, but I do believe I do change the car so it's a bit more uh, neutral. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it's more of just a spinning coaster car, to be honest. But uh, yeah, not, not really wild mouse at all. But, you know, uh, it does work as well. Um, so yeah, the 1K special has not come out yet uh, because I haven't had a chance to record it really. I've been quite busy as well uh, as I'm my teeth out. So uh, yeah, that should be coming out fairly soon. Um, don't think I've forgotten about it. Uh, it will be coming out shortly. But um, I just want to make sure I'm definitely going to still be on that milestone because obviously uh, at the time of recording I'm on, I think, 1006. So obviously if six people end up uh, unsubscribing after... It'll be a bit embarrassing, so I'm just going to leave it for a bit uh, and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, obviously we've got our uh, pirate ship here, which is a staple of, uh, of uh, a pirate-themed area. Uh, of course, most theme parks do actually have a pirate ship in some form. Uh, it's quite a popular attraction. Uh, at least the ones in the UK anyway. Fort has a pirate ship, Towers has a pirate ship, Drayton Manor, Legoland, like quite a few uh, places do have pirate ships as well. Uh, I was going to put it in the middle plaza, but it didn't really fit in too well. So what I've ended up doing is uh, just uh, theming it with some uh, palm trees around the side uh, of the path as well. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, the, it's kind of starting to take shape where everything's going to go. Uh, the, pirate, the pirate ship will stay there for now. Uh, we do add a queue later on. Uh, but obviously we have not themed uh, any of this really up at all. Uh, I was just trying to get some off-road shots here, really, for the thumbnail, uh, which we might uh, do because they're one of the most, because it's zoomed in, it's one of the most, actually, um, decent resolution footage. Uh, but obviously, um, we're going to add a log flume in here, which um, I think, when it's fully themed, is going to be inspired by Pirates of the Caribbean a bit. It's going to be kind of like an outside version. I want it to be quite heavily themed and a good experience. And... Um, yeah, I just think it's uh, it's a really cool. Uh, it could be themed really well to the pirates. Uh, to pirates, of course. Although I don't want to do a Drayton Manor uh, and uh, like I did with Pirate Falls and like completely rip it off. But uh, I do want to make uh, a good uh, thing. If it, if it uh, it will take inspiration from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland Paris uh, because uh, that's uh, a really uh, cool ride that I uh, I do quite like as well. Although, obviously, it will be a bit more, uh, it will get you wet a bit more because parts of the Caribbean uh, doesn't really get you wet at all. It's just really a boat ride with a couple of drops, but the drops don't really splash up, so, you know. But, yeah, it's one of my favourite rides. It was my dad's favourite ride, uh, I think, at Disney. And, yeah, honestly, it's just one of my family favourites, to be honest, uh, which is uh, quite good. Uh, but, yeah, as you can see here, I'm just adding a drop, uh, another one. And this one's going to have a splashdown section on it. There we go. So uh, that will get people wet. And uh, yeah, I have tried to make it go further out. So it uh, it kind of goes past the path uh, a bit. I'm experimenting with boats here because you don't need block sections on a log flume in this game. Um, I'm not sure if you do in real life, actually. I'm not, I'm not an expert on log flumes. Uh, but I believe there's like sensors that... Uh, say if they've finished the thing or whatever but yeah we're just testing this around here and obviously it doesn't go the fastest but that obviously allows us to put some good theming in as well um which is all good and then obviously we're just going to get some shots of the uh, of the log flume which also could be used for thumbnail as well and um so yeah that's going to be that we will change up the color scheme um, probably remove some of the supports because there's loads on that lift hill because I built with the four piece trucks uh, but yeah that is going to be the end of uh, this episode 
Uh, I think. No, we still got a minute left, but I'm going to outro it now anyway. This is going to be the end of this episode of uh, Let's Play Planet Coaster. Um, so, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for the names of this area or the names of some of the rides, then uh, please let me know. And if you think there's anything that should be removed, should be added, uh, should be changed, then let me know because I do want this to be a sole, like a pretty much solely video suggestion park. Uh, and also, um, give us ideas for the next uh, area of the park that's going to be coming as well. Because obviously that might be coming for an episode or two, but uh, I do need ideas for what area it should be. So I'm thinking maybe sci-fi, but let me know if you agree on that. And uh, yeah, I'm just adding a tiny bit of thieving here uh, to the log flume. And, uh, but obviously we'll, we will start heavily theming it next time. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And uh, I will see you all very soon.